The three things that we get driving our wildfires are weather, topography, and fuels. And by fuels, I mean the vegetation that's out here in the forest. We can't control the topography and we can't control the weather, but the one thing we can control is the fuels that are out here. So I'm standing in a prescribed burn from six years ago. And that prescribed burn was meant to reduce those fuel loading. All right, the Flume Creek prescribed burn was done in 2018 and it's a 120 acre project. The goal of the project was to reduce hazard fuels in the area and increase the forest ability to uh, deal with the catastrophic wildfire. So what we did for this project is we went in and we initially logged it. Um, the areas that we couldn't log, we went in and did some thinning and then piled the debris. That ended up to being about a thousand piles in the unit. Once we, once we made those piles, we then went through and we burned them to reduce the fuel loading. After that, uh, we went in and we did a broadcast burn throughout the 120 acres. And that was really to get rid of the rest of the activity fuels. So those branches, those limbs that were left from all the other um, cutting activities, and then kind of hit the reset button in the uh, lodgepole forest here by Twin Lakes. And we are seeing those effects right now because we have a wildfire 200 feet away that's being driven by those heavy fuel loading. We have a lot of down logs on the forest floor and we have some heavier underbrush. And we can see here that we are not seeing those heavy fuel loading. And we got a lot of young, healthy aspen that are growing up in here. So this prescribed burn, this fuels treatment, has been a game changer for us in suppressing the interlocking fire. Because within the fire, we were seeing really active fire behavior, 60 foot or more flame lengths from that down com fuel component. And then as soon as it got to this prescribed burn, that fire dropped down to four foot flame lengths. It slowed down its movement considerably, and it was putting off a lot less smoke. And that allowed our firefighters to move in and safely suppress and put in a control line that we have right here next to us.